Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the Joyride Halo 2 Master Chief action figure. So, this was obviously released in 2004 for Halo 2, um, massive, massively popular game at the time. So obviously Joyride would continue to make action figures for the game series. Halo 2 is my favourite Halo, um, I prefer the first and the third one. But this is, you know, this is like the holy. Th this is the reason I wanted um, to buy all those Joyride figures because this is like uh, I I think of Arby and the Chief. If anybody's seen that, that's really funny. Machinima kind of just deleted all the episodes, but I think I think they're up on a compilation on the um, original creators channel. Um, I'll I'll link it below because it is it's really good. So let's talk about accessories for the Master Chief figure. So to start off we've got the Halo 2 pistol which is uh, quite different compared to the first one. Um, so obviously it's black kind of features a little bit less detail but um, uh, as a sort of more of a, an indentation there for the, the, the bullet hole. Uh, also, it does, uh, this bit also goes all the way, which is, uh, I think, the original pistol is meant to look like this, but obviously, it isn't. Um, also, so so this comes out, uh, there's always this, like, the stock, obviously the ammo is a little bullet, not painted at the top, and see if it focuses, yeah, there we go, uh, there's a little bullet at the top, but it's, it's very difficult to see, and now uh, this will just... Get really hard to see. Yeah, shit. Oh well, we tried. Uh, so that's th that's an interesting look. Uh, I like the pistol in Halo 2. It's very sort of sleek, which is a uh, kind of dark and edgy Halo 2. Uh, it's like a uh, edgier Halo. Everything's blacker. Uh, this one, you know, this is slightly more accurate, I think, um, to the Halo 2 one anyway. Full black uh, compared to the silver original shotgun, I think. But um, this the flashlight on this one is, uh, is different to this one, as it you know it goes in. Uh, so does this. It's a bigger, deeper hole. I think, I think it's shorter as well uh, as the old one behind it. Uh, it's yeah, it's a little little shorter. Um, I like this one. But uh, it can't really hold it, um, which is a, a big problem. Which is a shame because it's 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 a much better version of the original shotgun. It's far more complex in its mould, um, and it's a real shame. Now, as for the figure, this one uh, it's far more articulated than the first one. It's got that sort of whole. The uh, double joint thing going on, so you can move the arm like that. Uh, the hands are this time are sort of rubbery, uh, which also uh, means he holds weapons a bit better, but not all the time. Um, this one is, I think this one's a bit more solid compared to this one. I think it's an all completely different sort of material of plastic. These bits, you know, they're not. A completely flat, flat brown. They've got kind of weird brush strokes, which is kind of odd because they're not they don't make sense, um, which is kind of weird. This bit in here is really cool because that's very well detailed, um, and it's not completely flat like up there. It kind of does this. Yeah, again, it's a, a chrome kind of kind of shiny kind of thing going on. In, Check your hair out. Um, it's a glittery kind of thing going on again. Uh, you can kind of tell. Flat green though. Uh, it's totally flat. Uh, it's a, It looks just a little bit more plasticky than the uh, Halo One Master Chief figure, which uh, you know it's kind of a whole mishmash of green. Uh, so, so yeah, and plus uh, there's something about him. It's like his body there is like too small or something compared to like his, his, his 
huge legs. It's kind of weird. It's a weird looking figure sometimes, but I don't mind it. Sculpt for the mask or the helmet could be better. I think they went and made another version, but I'm not even going to try and look for that. So it'll be way too expensive. Um, so articulation, you, know, you can do that. It's kind of like a ball joint, but it's not like proper. This also does the same thing. Uh, this goes, these go out. Uh, it's kind of weird double, kind of sweat. This bit inside swivels, and then this is like a ball joint. The legs are kind of on a ball joint as well. Uh, oh man. Uh, this bit also swivels like the original Halo 2, Halo combat of old figure, I mean. This is also a ball joint, and this is one of those double joints again. Um, like that. So, now, how does he hold weapons? So, let's try and get the pistol in there. Uh, oh god. <laughs> See, this is a bit, because he can't really get the sort of handle thing in, kind of gets stuck on it and it doesn't really fit in properly, does it? Uh, barely. So, I don't really hold that very well. And I just, yeah, it's kind of. Disappointing. Now for the Halo 2 shotgun. Um, it this it fits in, but it's it's very loose. It's it's like it just kind of falls. Uh, oh my god, that totally shockwave. Uh, so we're stuck with the Halo 1 shotgun, which is less detailed, but he holds it much better. His hand is also me molded quite well. Cause now now we can hold this shotgun quite well so that's a that's an interesting thing um, but overall this is a, I see it's like I'm sort of blinded by nostalgia for always wanting it um, and I, obviously I like it a lot um, I probably shouldn't because there's obviously far better figures but it's, I think this is due to age yet again it's it's aged kind of Poorly, but not incredibly awful. If you know what I'm saying, um, it's it's all right in my book. So that was the Halo 2 Joyride Master Chief action figure. Thanks for watching this review. Stick around for other video reviews. Thanks for watching.